Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we will be creating a bootable installation media for macOS Sequoia on a Windows PC. I will also share the exact steps that you can use to create a bootable USB for any version of macOS as well. For this method, we will be using TransMac for Windows. So head over to your browser and search TransMac and open the first official website link. Under Download TransMac, you will see tmsetup.zip file. Just click on it and save it to your desktop. Now, right click on the TM setup file and click Extract All. This will extract all the files of the TransMac tool. Just run the setup file and continue with the installation of TransMac. Once the installation is complete, go to your browser and search for my website. I will provide all these links in the video description below. Now, click on the search bar and look for Sequoia DMG and open the first link that you see. Scroll down to the download section and download the macOS Sequoia DMG file. You can either use the Google Drive link or the Media File link. If you wish to create bootable macOS for any specific version, you can go to this archive link and you can find all the required DMG files of all the macOS versions. Or you can also visit my website and search for any specific version of macOS from the menu bar. So the main objective here is to download the DMG file of any macOS version that you wish to create as a bootable USB drive. So once the DMG file is downloaded, we are ready to move on to the main steps. Plug in your USB drive. And the first step is to change the partition table of your USB drive. To do that, click on Start and search for CMD. Now right click on CMD and run it as an administrator. Now type in the following commands. The first one is disk part. Then type list disk. So this will display all the available disks. Just look for the disk number for a USB drive and in my case it is 2. Now type select disk 2. Now type clean to clean the USB drive. Now you have to type convert GBT. So this will convert your partition table to GBT. Lastly, you have to type create partition primary and press enter. Now you will see a pop-up. Just click on the cancel button and close your CMD. Now right click on your TransMac application and run it as an administrator. Since we are running on the trial version, you will have to wait for 10 seconds and then click on the run button. So this is a USB drive. Just right click on it and click on restore with disk image. Click on yes. And here you will have to attach your DMG file that you have downloaded above. So just locate your DMG file and click on open. Once the DMG is attached, click on OK. So this will now start creating your macOS Sequoia bootable USB drive. So this will take around a while depending upon the speed of your USB drive. So one important thing before you plug into your USB drive on your Mac. If you are currently running on a specific version of macOS and you create a bootable media for the specific same version, then your USB drive won't boot. You either need to choose a lower version or a higher version of macOS to make it visible under the boot menu. So once the process is complete, it will say restore complete and you can click on OK and your bootable USB is now ready. So once the process is complete, you can plug in the USB drive on your Mac. Now. Press the desired keys to get into the boot menu. For M-series MacBook, you can press and hold the power button. And for Intel Macs, you need to press and hold the options key. So since I have M2 Mac, I will continue to hold the power button until it says loading startup options. Now you are into the boot menu. You can see your primary hard drive, your bootable USB and your recovery options. So just click on install macOS Sequoia and you can proceed with the basic installation steps. 
सो दैट्स इट फॉर टुडे आई होप यू हैव एंजॉयड दिस वीडियो डू गिव इट अ थम्स अप एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर अमेजिंग वीडियोज लाइक दीज आई सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन